A proposal for a new railroad line in southern Indiana hits an unexpected protest. Duke Energy's construction of a rail line from Sanborn to its new power plant is currently awaiting approval from the state. But News 10's Mike Grant explains it has an objection against it from the Knox County Commissioners. When Duke Energy finishes construction on its new $2 billion coal gasification plant in Knox County, it wants to have a rail line in place to bring in coal and take out solid waste. The utility has a proposal to build a rail line along an old rail bed that reaches to Sanborn and crosses several county roads. Officials in Knox County say they think the county should get some money from the utility for using its right-of-way. We are going to have to maintain that in the future. And so he's came up with a crossing fee of $25,000 for each crossing, for the five crossings that they're going to have to make. Commissioners uh, do have a right to the same, am the same amount that the, uh, uh, that the individual landowner is getting. Since day one, Knox County officials have been in favor of virtually everything that Duke Energy has proposed for their new power plant project. This objection over the railroad crossings then marks quite a departure from previous actions. A lot of people feel like, you know, they haven't really lived up to everything they're going to do, especially probably with employment, and also maybe with some of the material they're buying local, they're not buying locally. Local officials say they're willing to sit and talk with Duke about the issues with the crossings. In Knox County, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. Knox County officials say they're also researching their legal options concerning the right-of-way issues along the rail line.